Yes, it's very interesting to see kind of the opening talks yesterday where a lot of the, the focus was on how you can differentiate as a bank in, in user experience. We see data are, is, is becoming a commodity. People's transactions will be flowing between financial institutions. So I see much more focus this year compared to last year on how banks are going to differentiate and offer a superior user experience, go kind of beyond the providing balance of accounts and the basic transfer of funds. It's like, how can you better relate to people's lives, simplify it, design for time well spent. And that's a fantastic theme for us here at Menica because that's what I've been focusing on for the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we recently finished uh, a two-year project. It's basically designing the whole user experience from the API up. We did hundreds of user tests. We worked with banks in, in many countries. And um, the whole aim there was to, to build what we call meaningful engagement. Essentially, uh, give insight into people's finances, help people understand where the money is going, but also uh, support them when they're at the time in their lives when they want to do something about their finance, financial future. So when you're motivated, getting your first job, taking your first loan, buying a car or a house, having your first child, those are all big moments in our lives and we see it correlates strongly with the use of, of financial applications. So we've kind of re-architected the whole experience around that and we many years ago it's like I think four or five years ago we introduced the the activity feed that you can see in our app which is essentially like a social media experience for your finances you have your transactions and information associated with that which we process in real time but we're sending you notifications around unusual spending or just telling you you know like the tenth time you go to a to your favorite pub or your restaurant. It's like, we're there, we're looking at your data and we're giving you information, but we can also now deliver personalized content to say, if you spend more than others on fuel or fast food, we can suggest challenges that are tailored to you, personalized, based on your data. And we see a great uptake in usage. We've multiplied the daily active numbers in our direct-to-consumer setup and we're getting fantastic feedback from the community. Um, and we're really having an impact on people's lives. And that's how you build lifelong engagement as a bank. And uh, yeah, so our, our customers, the banks around the world, they're looking to build similar experience into their applications. It's like you can no longer just get away with the basic services in banking. So yeah, it's been a, a fantastic year for us you know, bringing these type of, of products and solutions into, you know, the channels of the banks. And it's just great to see that this is the, the theme for Money 2020 this year as well. Yeah, this is a journey we've been on for a while now. We see, I mean, the main trend and the main projects for many banks is aggregating each other's financial transactions. So that's a fact that's happening already. PSD2, yeah, we'll have current accounts, but I assume there's going to be PSD3 and PSD4 where we'll get credit card transactions and, and things like that. But not many banks are going beyond that to, first of all, make good use of their own internal data. So the Menega aggregation and enrichment platform, it, shows you how, how much you spend in different areas, categories, clothing, gifts, etc. But also merchant level. So we have great information on, it's like you might spend a lot of money on clothing, but are you spending with Hugo Boss or is it H&M? It's a 
there are lifestyle decisions we make um, and utilizing this data for instance one of the things we we built into our platform is is a restaurant recommendation engine so we can support your lifestyle if you like we're not trying to tell people to stop spend money we want them to spend money on things that matter in life so if you like good food and you spend a lot of money on restaurants the experience we we uh, demonstrated at, at Finnovate this year is so you click on a restaurant transaction and we based on the data we have within the bank we show you similar restaurants that people like you like to go to but you haven't been to yourself so it's a it's really high value uh, spot-on personalized recommendation for you to try out new things so we're supporting your lifestyle there and we're going even further with aggregating uh, extra information from transactions so linking to uh, external sources like social media integrating instagram photos into your transactions if you go to the big restaurant spend you know a substantial amount on a good meal you might be the person that puts that on your instagram feed so associating transactions with other types of data uh, gives a more like a meaningful experience in the app and enrichment and we've seen some of those examples here today ING is linking into mobility and just car uh, you know getting around renting a car or a bike and we believe that that banks will be moving more into this area on, on connecting to APIs uh, enriching the kind of the financial experience going beyond just managing the money and also thinking about it's like how to book a hotel room when you're traveling to a city also recommend insurance products and things like that within uh, within a one single finance app that yeah goes well beyond banking